Hey, welcome back to the Clay Golem again. We have some success. And uh, this is hot on the heels of the previous video. They're going to be coming out back to back. Uh, if you did watch the previous one, you would have seen that we were looking at the 3.0 game engine for D&D within Foundry, VTT. Um, we had some issues with the effects not applying. Um, and we did it on a completely clean slate. Still nothing at all, not working the way we want it to. So we resorted back to our... Uh, D threads plus sequencer plus active animations <laughs> and all of that stuff which was working beautifully but we did have a couple of issues so a couple of things to look at is um, we're applying the effects on the selected token not on the targeted token what that means is a player cannot select other tokens so when they cast a spell like bless like um, our shield of faith that we've been using to test with when they cast a spell, the effect is not happening on the target they're casting on. So that's one problem. Uh, a second problem was, um, as I made a comment in a previous video about I need to find out how to clean up my macros, because I had a whole bunch of them that were now not necessary, we got a solution to that as well. Um, and the third one we had was, in the last video, what we discovered was when the player tried to cast certain, uh, tried to cast spells, we were getting a, um, a denied permissions to run the macro. So even when they were casting on themselves, it wasn't applying defreds. We have a solution to that. So this is just a summary little video to show you what those solutions are. I think because we've had, over the past few videos, we've encountered a few little problems, I think I will do a summary video of showing you how to set up these spells with d threads, the animations and everything, and we'll pick a completely clean spell we've not looked at, we'll go from start to beginning, set it up properly, the macros, everything, um, so you guys can follow along and configure yours in the same way that I have, assuming you that's what you want to do, assuming that's how you want yours organised, so our players can cast the damn spells themselves and apply those effects themselves, cut down on our admin. That's what we're aiming for. We're getting really close. Shall I shut up and actually show you what the solutions are? Okay, so first of all, our problem of not being, you know, when we cast this spell, so Haley is going to cast uh, Shield of Faith on Sorryman here. We've got Sorryman targeted. So let's just refresh because some people might come straight to this video. So apologies if you sick of watching me do this um we're going to cast shield of faith so i click shield of faith we're going to cast that and brilliant we've got sorryman is uh has now got his shield of faith and things so why did it play the animation there and apply d threads it's really simple and a bit obvious so i've just opened up my configuration settings for my game here and i'm going to go to d threads uh, <laughs> We've forgotten how to use the alphabet. There's a really simple permission in here. We know that spells are defaulting to applying effects to the token, not the target. Well, look, prioritize targets. It's an option in here. By default, it's ticked off. I've just ticked it on. That's it. Now, what you need to bear in mind is for the players, that is defaulted, switched off. Um, I don't know why um, I would want that defaulted on. So the animations by default are playing on the targeted one. Uh, the effect is being applied by default to the selected token, not the targeted token. Turn this on. The spell effect and the animation will play on the targeted token. That means players can select multiple targets and do that. So let's prove it. Because <laughs> I've said quite a few things in these videos, uh, and I think it's really important to prove it. So here we are, we're in as our player, we are Bob again. Uh, so Bob is going to, and I know this doesn't work for this spell before you all get, but something like Bless, you can select three targets. We're not casting Bless, we're casting Shield of Faith. Uh, and if I cast Shield of Faith as the player, ta -da! that's exactly how we would want our Bless to work, would, isn't it? Now, obviously, Sorryman already had it on, so it's taken the effect off of him, um, which is fine because it's a toggleable effect. Um, but there we go. It's applied them to all. So that's fix number one. Brilliant. Well happy with that. Let's uh, let's click, click quickly refresh these characters. Get rid of those. 
effects on there. Why am I doing that? I can just click that. No, that's going to do it. Sorry, man. That's it, there we go. Come on brain, keep going. <laughs> okay, right. Our next issue was that the player character, uh, oh no, next issue is accessing all of our uh, macros so we can tidy up and get rid of the ones that I've just created as playing around with. Down the bottom left, Next to this taskbar, this tiny little folder here, if I hover over it, browse mac macro directory, clicking that, here's all of the macros I've created. So as you can see, where I've been creating Shield of Faith and trying different macros and copying and moving them around, I've now got two called Shield of Faith, I've got three which are SE Shield of Faith, and now I've got four called one SE Shield of Faith. <laughs> But this is where I can come in and go, oh, right, look, I don't need them all. I've got a Hayley Longbreeze character one. I don't need a second one. I can just delete that. Thank you very much. And drag it from here onto that hot bar. And it's come with the picture as well. Okay, so that is going to just toggle her character sheet. So this is where I come in to get rid of those. Some of these are already in here. Um, as you can see, these are convenient effect ones that come with it. Um, I've renamed some of mine. Um, I'm not sure why I created one from oh, it's because, yeah, I put like... Haley's Mace down there so it's automatically created one um, so I can edit any of those macros and save them so just to show you if I edit macro if I call this Mace 2 save macro um, it's overwritten that one because that's the one that this is but where I've been copying and the kind of to the compendium and back again um, that's where it's kind of duplicated so I can have a real good clean up get rid of all of these I am not going to put you through that <laughs> just so you know um, okay, so, but this is, so our third problem we wanted to solve is the fact that the players cannot run these macros. Now, you just saw Bob's player, he ran the macro. He didn't get the error like he did in the previous video. What the heck did I do? What I did was, if you right-click on your macro and configure ownership from here, you can change the, by default, let's, let's pick one, let's pick one of these older ones, configure ownership, by default, all players no permissions pick this top one configure ownership I've changed this one to make all players an observer so that means that they can apply the effect they can run it but what they can't do is edit the macro um, they can't go and mess things up I don't want to make them an owner but I want to make them an observer that is what we need to do so change that defred setting to make sure that we it's based on target not on token selected which is great we can clean up our macros in here and by giving permissions so bless still won't have uh, still won't work let's just double check that so back over here for bob our player uh Hayley's still got a spell left brilliant so let's cast bless Haley. doesn't apply the effect we haven't given the macro for it but even configure ownership they've got no visibility oh it's a bit rough wasn't it a bit of a rough journey over the past few videos trying to get this working but i'm fairly sure we are there now the really key thing we can do all of our setup and again i will do a fresh video on the tail of this of walking through setting up um, a number of spells like bless and getting that configuring properly so that it, it works then you can just follow through step by step with me rather than trying to piece together all of the solutions from these from these videos um because that's a bit uh, it's a bit mad isn't it it's a bit mad um so i will do a video you can just walk through tutorial bomb 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 this is how you get it set up if you want your setup in the way that i have which I think is going to work beautifully for me. You can probably hear I'm quite excited about this. It's been a bit of a journey. Um, so we'll do that as well, and we'll do a quick little play test on that. But we can do all of that setup. The really important thing is going to be is making sure our players change that option in defreds. You could see that they had access to it, um, but they changed that to say it's tar it, the effects are applied by target, not by selected token. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Exciting one. We'll walk through the whole lot. Bye-bye.